Here is a detailed explanation of the anti-double-stranded DNA, anti-DS DNA test, covering all your requested aspects. 1. Introduction The anti-DS DNA test is a type of autoantibody blood test used primarily in the diagnosis and monitoring of autoimmune diseases, particularly systemic lupus erythematosus, SLE. This test plays a key role in understanding autoimmune activity in the body. 2. Definition the anti-DS DNA test detects antibodies that target the double-stranded DNA within the nucleus of human cells. These antibodies are autoantibodies, meaning they mistakenly attack the body's own tissues. NAR3 Indications This test is usually ordered when a person shows symptoms suggestive of SLE, such as fatigue, joint pain, rash, or kidney dysfunction. A diagnosis of lupus has already been made and needs monitoring. There is a positive ANA anti-nuclear antibody test, prompting further evaluation. Under 4, used for diagnosing systemic lupus erythematosus, monitoring disease activity or flares in patients already diagnosed with lupus, differentiating SLE from other autoimmune disorders such as rheumatoid arthritis or Sjogren's syndrome. Why do need of this test? To confirm SLE when symptoms and a positive ANA are present to track the severity or flare-ups of lupus, to determine the effectiveness of lupus treatment. Early detection can prevent complications such as kidney damage. Six, what happens during the test? A healthcare provider collects a blood sample, usually from a vein in your arm. The area is cleaned, a tourniquet is applied, and a needle is inserted. The sample is sent to the lab for analysis. The procedure typically lasts less than five minutes. How much are seven? How long for my results? Results are typically available within one to three business days. In some healthcare facilities or regions, it may take up to a week. Eight, prepare for this test. No special preparation is needed. Inform your provider about any medications or supplements you are taking, as some may affect results. Fasting is not required. Nine, risk two. Minimal risks, such as bruising or soreness at the puncture site, lightheadedness or fainting in rare cases, infection, very rare. 10. Normal values. Negative or low titers of anti-DS DNA antibodies are considered normal. Reference values may vary by lab, but typically 30 IU effluent units per milliliter is considered negative. 30 to 75 IU milli may be borderline or equivocal. 75 IU milli is positive. 11. Interpretation of results. Positive result strongly suggests systemic lupus erythematosus. Higher levels often correlate with disease activity, particularly kidney involvement, lupus nephritis. Negative result does not rule out lupus. Lupus may still be present, especially if other antibodies or symptoms are evident. Mildly elevated result may occur in other autoimmune diseases or even in healthy individuals. Factors affecting results. Medications such as hydralazine or isoniazid can trigger lupus-like syndromes. Recent infections or immunizations may influence levels. Pregnancy can sometimes alter antibody levels. Laboratory techniques and assay sensitivity may vary. 13. Clinical significance. Anti-DS DNA is highly specific for SLE, especially when found in high titers. It is associated with lupus nephritis, an inflammation of the kidneys. It helps in confirming a lupus diagnosis, assessing disease activity, guiding treatment adjustments. No more. Anti-DS DNA antibodies are part of the antinuclear antibody ANA family. Their presence often precedes lupus flares. They are typically measured by ELISA, enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay, or Crithidia luciliae immunofluorescence. Serial testing repeated over time is useful in monitoring lupus progression. ASH 15 Conclusion The anti-DS DNA test is a critical diagnostic and monitoring tool for systemic lupus erythematosus. While it is not used in isolation, when combined with symptoms and other lab tests, it provides valuable insights into disease activity and severity. A clear understanding of the results and their implications can lead to more effective management and better long-term outcomes for patients with autoimmune conditions. Thank you. Have a nice day.